All right, we're going to say shalom to everyone. Uh, thank you most high for another day. Uh, making this quick video, um, I might as well utilize my time here um, instead of thinking about what's going on right now at this present moment. I'm pretty uh, irritated, what you would call, because I'm stuck at my first job. Uh, I could not make it to my part-time because a truck on the Beltway, matter of fact, on the Woodrow Wilson Bridge caught fire. Um, I'm, I don't know all the details, but it happened at 11. I think it's still under investigation. Um, I'm making this video around 10, 15, 10, 20, something like that. I, I started uh, started around 10, 15, uh, but I didn't like the other video that I made, but I'm, I just wanted to make this pretty clear on um, when it comes down to following the holy days. What I noticed is there's always something going on, especially around the, um, not the holy days, the Sabbath day, which is a holy, you can, it's a holy recognition of the Most High, the Sabbath day, the, the Shabbat. I notice it's always something that has to happen during this time frame. That's how you understand that you're following it according to the scriptures. Now, everyone, you know, believe that they're following it one way and things of that nature. Um, but based on my experience, I realized that um, a lot of the things that happened to me over the few over over the few months, what people would call bad luck, which is no such thing, has happened around the Sabbath between Wednesday sundown to Thursday sundown. And, and you know, it just had me thinking. Um, hopefully this thing let me talk. It may cut off. Um, but, you know, it just had me thinking how the most I will, you know, send tests your way to see how you react to it. Uh, you know, it's putting more weight on what you would call the bar so you can lift more. That's how you get stronger. That's how you understand the way, you know, when you're lifting weights and things of that nature. Me and my wife was actually talking about lifting weights because uh, she wants to lift 180 pounds. <laughs> uh, I actually miss my wife. I'm always around her. Even at my other job, I always, this is totally different. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a way that you can... Uh, build and get stronger when you go through trials and tribulations. And to be honest, I have nothing to complain about. I'm in an AC room. This is a conference room. I'm in the AC. Um, there's no body here. It's peaceful, <laughs> but it's still out of the norm. And it reminds me of when we have to go into the wilderness. What will we have to go through? You understand? What will be the adjustments and how will we uh which you will call, how will we adjust to it? Um, we already know that the scripture says that there's going to be some goofballs eating swine's uh, flesh in the wilderness. Okay? So I, that's all I wanted to make. Um, you know, those of you that go through trials, that's actually worse than this. Um, I take my hat off to you. Uh, you're strong. You're tough. This is very irritating. I have to wait till traffic die down because, like I said, the traffic is so bad. It's like a parking lot. I mean... I made a U-turn just to, you know, to conserve gas, you understand? And, and you know, it's an older car, so it has a small antifreeze leak. So I can't see me sitting out in traffic to the car overheat, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, but that's going to take some money to get fixed, and, you know, that's how that's how it is. But, you know what, um, you know, I'm just going to make this quick video real quick. I'm about to go off line and um, see you all soon. Um, I know I've been kind of short on videos. Like I said, I'm pretty busy working, uh, but this is my life and I'll be doing this for the rest of it. Shalom.